Venus is the big cat alignment chart. Chaotic Evil is the largest cat in the Americas. A stealthy killer with a taste for brains. Chaotic Evil is the Jaguar. The dense jungle gives them cover to sneak up to prey and then pounce on them. Their secret weapon is their massive jaw, which creates forces capable of crushing bones and carapaces. Ooh. But what makes these killer cuties chaotic evil is their killing technique. Instead of crushing the windpipe like other big cats, jaguars go for the head. They bite through the skull of their prey, often inserting their long fangs into the ears and destroying the brain. Then they start munching on their prey. And so, this giant hunter who's always going after brains like a zombie claims its spot as the most chaotic evil big cat. Neutral evil is the critically endangered Amur Leopard. These ultra-rare cats live in a small pocket of East Asia where Russia, China, and North Korea meet. Neutral evil involves achieving power by any means necessary, without adhering to any particular set of rules. And while most cats are nocturnal or crepuscular, these cats made their own rules and became diurnal to catch their favorite prey. Deer and boar are most active during the day, so even though their entire biology is geared towards nocturnal hunting, Amur leopards have become experts at hunting in broad daylight. If you're a North Korean deer and you're watching this, first of all, how did you get a phone? But also, watch out for the neutral evil Amur leopard. Lawful evil is the true king of the jungle, the largest cat in the world, the tiger. Sorry lions, these giants dominate their ecosystem with an iron jaw, catching prey as big as 250 kilograms. And though it's uncommon now, there have been hundreds of cases of tigers attacking people. In the Sundarbans, tigers used to kill up to 50 people a year. Precautions such as wearing masks in the back of their head lowered that number. Tigers seem to have one rule, only attack from behind, so the backwards-facing masks stop them from attacking people. Unfortunately, as deforestation has accelerated and their prey has declined, attacks have increased again. Even a lawful king has to bend the rules in order to survive. So the largest big cat and the most common man-eater in its range, easily the most lawful evil big cat in the world. Chaotic Neutral is the big cat from the sky, the spotted menace, and the most chaotic neutral feline, the African Leopard. These are the most arboreal big cats in the world, often jumping down from big trees to ambush their prey. Their favorite prey are medium-sized ungulates, which they can land on from trees, or they can chase down. If you ever heard the expression, it's raiding cats and dogs, they probably meant African Leopards. Is there anything more chaotic than a 60 kilogram cat pouncing on you from a five meter tall tree? When they're on land, they can also jump up to three meters straight up to catch birds. And that's not all, they're powerful enough to carry prey heavier than them up to the treetops. So if you're in Africa, better keep an eye on the trees. You don't want these chaotic neutral drop cats to land on you. True Neutral is the all-terrain big cat. The cougar's range is huge, from northern Canada to the southern tip of South America. In large parts of their range, they have to compete with other large predators. But instead of making groups to fend off their rivals, they keep to themselves, true to their neutral nature. But what separates cougars from other hunters is their ability to catch almost any prey animal. Their combination of stealth and power is legendary. In some areas, such as the North American mountains, the vast majority of their diet is ungulates, whereas in Florida, it's feral hogs and armadillos. In the South American jungles, rodents such as capybara are a big part of their diet, and in the Patagonian coast, they've become penguin specialists. This generalist, adaptable approach has helped them conquer a vast territory and earned them the title of the Big Cat True Neutral. And Lawful Neutral is a ghost among cats. One of the rarest big cats in the world, the snow leopard. The snow leopard is the king of the hill. Native to the snowy mountains of Central Asia, it rules unchallenged. They lead a solitary life. They don't need any help catching sheep and goats. 
even though they are also incredible rock climbers. These neutral cats don't like sharing meals or entertaining guests, except during mating season. But family's important, and females take care of their babies on their own for up to two years. During this time, babies learn how to be lonesome hunters, and then it will be time for them to go away and quietly rule their own snowy mountain, like the lawful neutral ice walkers that they are. Chaotic Good is the rogue climbing cat of Southeast Asia. The clouded leopard, this cat lives in dense forests, so being able to navigate trees is a must. That's why they've become sort of squirrel cats, with the ability to climb up and down tree trunks by rotating their wrists 180 degrees. That doesn't mean they've become docile like squirrels. Right, Nips? Clouded leopards have the longest fangs proportional to body size of any cat, and they use it to catch large prey such as deer, hogs, and even the adorable red pandas. Their diet is chaos. This ability to hunt on land and in trees, and controlling herbivore populations in their ecosystems makes them protectors of their ecosystems. A true good cat. And if they use their awesome saber cat-like fangs to do it, that makes them the chaotic good big cat. Neutral good is the speediest animal on land, the cheetah. These guys are the second most social cat in the world after the lion, and for good reason. These guys are tiny and need all the help that they can get. Cheetahs are about a third of the size of a lion, and they specialize in smaller prey such as gazelle. The problem is that small ungulates are usually super fast, so cheetahs had to get faster. They also had to learn how to cooperate, to take down mega agile ungulates, and to share their meal once it's been served. This collaborative approach has its limits, and they prefer to be solitary for other activities such as raising kittens. So overall, these speedsters are outgoing introverts of the cat world. They're neutral good. Lawful Good is the king of the savannah, the family-oriented Panthera Leo, aka the lion. To these Lawful Good big cats, it's all about their pride. Lions live in groups. Sometimes several males will make coalitions and make a boys-only club. But most commonly, it's a couple of males, several females, and their babies. And they do everything together. Their strength is in numbers. Females have nurseries, which help them raise their babies together. During the hunt, the females play a big role, as they're usually faster than the males. They catch the prey and kill them, or slow them down until the males catch up. There's a second method, where the lions will position themselves strategically to trap their prey. It's the most advanced group behavior among big cats. Well done, kings and queens. Pride or die. What animal should we do in the next chart? What do you think, Nebs? Well, you guys let me know in the comments. See ya!